peace, peace. Peace to the 5% nation of Islam. Peace to the nation of Islam. Peace to the nation of God and earth. Peace to whatever school of thought that you are in and you are in this group. You know what I'm saying? Whatever school of thought you are in and you believe in the true and living God is the black man and the woman. You know what I'm saying? That you are a poor righteous teacher, right? Who do not believe in the lives of the 10%. You're all wise, right? So you know the rest. Ain't got to get in here. See, we, we like to be reciters of the lessons. We like to quote the lessons word for word and think that's it. We got it, right? It's more than being part of the 5%. You know what I'm saying? One's ability to memorize the lessons and be able to recite them and quote them word for word, that's good. That's, that's one of the first levels, right? One of the first levels of gaining the knowledge itself, you know? And the instructions, and the instructions by Master Farah Muhammad, we are, uh, we are taught and told in the instructions uh, to memorize said the, the assignment to memorize the lessons of Minister Elijah Muhammad. That's that's the like that's the first level, first stage of of getting knowledge itself, right? Is memorizing the lessons and being able to recite the lessons word for word or on point when asked, right? When I first got knowledge itself, we wasn't able to go online and download a whole book or whatever. Um, we got it bits and pieces, and so we had to memorize before we got another lesson. Y'all know the routine, those who really know, right? So, but as you study the lessons and you gain an understanding, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, understanding is the best part, right? As you gain an understanding of the knowledge of the lessons. Supreme Wisdom, 120, right? Once you study the lesson, once you learn the history, then there's another level, right? It's called living it out. It's called living it, right? And coming in as in, in the knowledge itself in 1985, working in the in the prison system, United States Army. I was a military police correction officer, and I got knowledge itself uh, while I was in the military from a, from an inmate. If I can show and prove my history, uh, an inmate from New York, Justin Devine, was teaching me a knowledge itself. I was the only military personnel that wasn't an inmate that got in trouble or that was in the prison as an inmate that was studying the 5% nation of Islam at that time, that's what I was, it was It was manifest to me that it was called, right? And so, but I was the only um, officer, correction officer, in the whole prisons of Fort Leavenworth, the largest military prison in the United States, that was studying with the inmates that were 5 percenters a knowledge itself, right? And so I got the lessons in bits and pieces as I was learning them, right? But one thing from that point on, I started doing, you know, I started engaging in and breaking the rules of, of, the, of the military structure, right? I was, I was sneaking uh, weed into the prison. I was sneaking alcohol into the prison, right? So I was doing negative things talking about I was righteous, right? And so I wasn't living the lessons and it probably was based on I didn't have a proper understanding of the lessons, right? I was a 120 God. I'm a 120 God. Right? I, I could recite the lesson, but I really didn't have a proper understanding of the purpose of the lessons. Right? Uh, 
What is the duty of a civilized person to teach the uncivilized civilization? No, I became uncivilized. And see, a lot of a lot of brothers and sisters who have a so-called knowledge of self, right? And which we can call it the knowledge of self. Having a knowledge of self doesn't mean your knowledge of your of yourself is a righteous reality. Knowledge of self means you know yourself. And many as I was in in the in the start, we were doing negative things. Huh? We was drinking, smoking, partying and bullshitting. Because we 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 all had that mindset. Many of us had that mindset, I'm God and and I can do whatever I want. I'm God and can't nobody tell me nothing. I'm God, I'm God, I'm God. But we wasn't going and developing until understanding or our understanding was based on a cloudy lens. Huh? What is his own self? His own self is a righteous Muslim. Huh? Did I hear you say that some of the 17 million don't even know they Muslims? You, you, I hardly believe that unless they was made blind, deaf, and dumb. Right? When they was babies. Wow. Yeah, the devil made them blind, deaf, and dumb when they were babies, right? And so what what took place or what has taken place within the 5%? Huh? Somebody started teaching, yo, yo, we ain't Muslims, we ain't this, right? We ain't that. We don't do that. Somewhere there was a breakdown in understanding. And when people started coming in to the 5% nation of Islam or the nation of gods and earth, the nation of Islam or whatever school and thought or start thought that you in, there's somebody that's always somebody that's there that has a mind of a 10%. So even in the 5%, you have a 85%, you have a 10%, and you have a 5% right inside the 5%. Huh? In the 5%, you have a 5%. But you have those who have been lied to and made blind, deaf, and dumb when they was babies, when they first got a knowledge of self, when they was newborns, they... Somebody was teaching them based on their own understanding, their own interpretation of the, of the lessons. Huh? Why? Because it became, I don't agree with this organization, I don't agree with this group, we did this and we don't do that. And so you start teaching from your own mindset, your own reality, right? Let's let's look at one of the one of the things that I used to subscribe to this type of thinking as well, you know. Salute and may Allah be pleased with Allah, the Father. Many have become personality worship of Father Allah. Right? And they feel that he made no mistakes. They feel that he did no wrong. And all of his decisions was right in his act. Huh? One thing I, 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 I love about the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, he said, I'm not perfect. Uh, don't, uh, I'm, I'm your brother. Uh, I, I don't ask you about your personal life because that's your personal life. We all going to make mistakes. We all, we all uh, make wrong decisions. Right? But yet being righteous 
doesn't mean we're the, we, we are not going to make mistakes, that we're not going to make the wrong decision. Our ability to, to correct ourselves, our, our ability to have a strong will and desire to get it right is what makes us righteous because it's our nature. And sometimes we have to get right back in tune with our nature, right? A poor righteous teacher, right? It starts with teaching yourself, right? Understanding your weaknesses, right? Uh, and always coming back to the righteous path. So there's levels to being a, a part of the 5%. But we must apply the lessons to ourselves. It's called knowledge of self, right? When you get a knowledge of yourself, you're supposed to study your weaknesses and your shortcomings and your flaws as well. You think a uh, knowledge, many think that a knowledge of self is being able to, the black man is God, the black man is God, I'm God, I'm God, God of the universe. Follow civilization. You think that's knowledge itself. A proper knowledge itself is you studying yourself. Getting a knowledge of yourself and then getting an understanding of who you are. Your highs and your lows. Your, your lower God self and your higher God self. And once you get an understanding of who you are and you know your weaknesses, you know your bad habits, you know your negative habits, you know your negative thoughts, then you got to master the self. Your understanding should cause you to be wise enough or have enough wisdom to make the proper changes to who you are. Self-saviors. You self-civilization. You got to become civilized within who you are. So everyday walk of life. Being a 5% is an ongoing process. It's not a destination you get to. And you stop. Ah, oh, I'm a 5 percenter. Now, many of us came through the porter of Allah the Father, Father Allah, in many ways the, the name is said or the attribute is said or the, how we address him is said. But Allah the Father, based on his understanding when he was in the temple, there might have been some disagreements of his understanding of the lessons. Many want to use that and take that as the whole nation of Islam. Disagree with him. The whole nation of Islam. Attack the father. The whole nation of Islam. Right? No, it was just some people in New York that personally knew him, that personally dealt with him. That might have disagreed with his understanding. Or what he was doing in his personal life. But based on his understanding of the lessons, what did he do? Some say he got put out of the temple, others say he left. Whatever that whatever took place when he was not in the temple, he made a conscious decision based on his understanding and started teaching the youth and the babies in the streets and others in the streets that he came across. Uh, based off his understanding. I was I was told that somebody mentioned to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad or reported to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad about him taking the lessons to the streets and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, leave him alone, leave him alone. He's teaching the, teaching the truth or teaching the lessons to, to, to the people. Leave him alone. Why? Because he was still doing something righteous. He was still doing something that he should be doing. He was manifesting the teachings to a people that weren't coming in the mosque or the temple that wasn't listening to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. 
Leave them alone. But yet, there are people now who will attack you for your understanding. Will attack you for what you are teaching based on your knowledge yourself. Not that you're wrong, but they feel if you don't think like them or do like them, you're wrong. Or you're not a part of their movement, you're wrong. Huh. They attack you for self-identifying who you are after you gain the knowledge of yourself. Huh? And then if you if if you get with like minds who think like you or have a same understanding as you, they attack that whole reality. Why? Because they say with their mouths and with their typing and with their posts, I don't submit to no man. I don't submit to nobody. I'm not a follower. I don't follow nobody. They say this with their mouths and with their posts and their comments, but they want you to submit to their ideal, submit to their way of thinking, and follow what they follow. Mm. The father said, the father said there's no leaders, but then you want to guide us. You want us to submit to your suggestion, your advice, and your guidance, and your mindset, and your teaching, and your understanding, as if you are our leader. And if we choose to follow leadership from somebody else, y'all have a problem with that. Y'all have a problem with us following the leadership of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Hmm? There are many of us that was in the 5% or well, still part of the 5%, but we were, uh, we were not in the, in the ranks of the Nation of Islam, and we came into the ranks of the Nation of Islam. We started making changes to our self, personal life, gaining a discipline, and following rules and regulations and structures of the nation of Islam. But yet we still hold on to the reality of the foundation or the portal by which we came in, which was Allah the Father. We still have a sincere and strong love for what that man stood for and what he did. But you want us to do it your way. Uh, and just like you say people in the nation attack the father for his understanding and they dis disagree with him, you're doing that now to those of us who choose to make a decision with our own personal lives based on our understanding of the lessons, based on our understanding of what we was taught concerning Allah the Father. You want to say... We believe in a mystery God, or we indoctrinated, but you turn around and do the same thing you point the finger that other people is doing. Just leave us alone. Just leave us alone. And do the work. The most honorable Elijah Muhammad said, if you, if you don't agree with somebody, do the work. If you're tired, keep working. Do the work. Let your work speak for you. If you, if you got to attack somebody else to try to prove your point, huh, the problem is you. The problem is you. We're living the level of understanding of being a 5% based on our understanding of our study and our ability to have a knowledge of ourselves. Uh, and if you don't agree with it, that does not make us wrong. That does not make somebody wrong that's in, that's in another school of thought. Uh, a brother that's a uh, Pan-Africanist, a, br uh, a brother that's in the Moors, a brother or sister that's in the Moors, 
a, a brother or sister that's that's in a in the Hebrew Israelite, a brother or sister that's uh, in the nation of gods and earth, a brother or sister that's what uh, the new Black Panther Party, whatever school of thought they in, if they're doing righteous moves, if they're teaching based on their understanding, right? Why should that be a problem? Why should that be a problem? Huh? Why would I build with a brother that's from the Moor Science Temple and the only thing I'm doing is trying to point out what I think is wrong or what I disagree with? Why would, if, would I run into a, a, a brother or sister from the nation of gods on the earth I, I just try to point out some negative stuff that I disagree with. Uh, why should we look for the weaknesses and the shortcomings of each other's ideals and thoughts? Because the way somebody thinks today, they might not think that way tomorrow. So why should we beat up on them? Attack them? Try to prove a point? Huh? A guy came in, posted just today in this group how I proved up my point. I came in here and did this and did that to show up. You came in causing mischief and bloodshed on a mental and a spiritual level. You came in experimenting with explosives, causing problems among the original people. Huh? We are the original people. We are the original nation. But inside the original nation, there are different schools of thoughts. And we can't unite because we rather point out the weaknesses and shortcomings and, the, and our disagreement and, and keep, use that to keep us separated in the part as the original nation and the original people. The, the lessons teaches us, since you, we want to deal with understanding, that the original people is Allah, the collective whole. Not just one person, but one person. Allah is, is a reality. It's like a, a position or a title. We are all Allah. But there's a supreme Allah, like the president, so teaches the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. There's levels to this reality called the 5%. And wherever you are at in your understanding, you manifesting it in your deeds and your actions. So when you attack another brother or sister based on the level of understanding they own, you don't look at the, 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 the righteous walk. You don't look at their will, strong will and desire to be a part of something righteous. Okay, you don't call yourself a Muslim. Okay. You ain't a Muslim. But we follow in the one to 36. An English lesson C number one. That's what we're following. What is his own self? His own self is a righteous Muslim. If your lessons have other than that, then those are graphic lessons. I'm sorry. Huh? The, the 17 million are, are considered the original Muslims. That's, I'm sorry. I got to follow that. I got to follow that. Can the devil fool the Muslim? I, I got to follow that. If you say you ain't a Muslim, then evidently the devil can fool you. And if the devil can fool the Muslim, then there's some growth and development that those of us who say we are Muslim have to do. There's levels to the 5%. You got to determine what level you on. And the level that you on, live it. If it's a righteous level, 
The objective is to walk upright. The objective is to be civilized. The objective is to be a righteous God or a righteous Muslim or righteous whatever you call yourself. Just be righteous in your walk. And you have a duty to teach the uncivilized people who are savage. Civilization. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding. You know the last thing. Like I said, you y'all want us to be in here quoting word for word when we you up you supposed to already know. Okay. So thank y'all for listening. I hope I wasn't too long, but thank y'all. Peace. Brother Michael Muhammad, aka the Mike God, Master I see God, Cypher Divine, the Muslim God. Peace, I'm out. Thank you.